yet again the EU Parliament has chosen to do a misguided decision that will have foreseen but maybe to them unforeseen ramifications down the line. Today they decided to pass anti-terrorist legislation, specifically the EU regulation against terrorism content online, or TEREG for short. It got approved without a final vote today and what's worse is platforms will be able to use automated decision tools in order to do it. So it's going to be exactly the same kind of shenanigans as happened with Article 15 and 17. And there's a huge problem with this because what really counts as terrorism content? You can say, oh, it's, it's recruiting people to go and fight in Syria or the far right, but it, it doesn't take much to get on the wrong side of a government. We see across the EU different um, countries across the political spectrum. And we see things like the situation in Poland and Hungary, where you've got protesters protesting against their human rights being infringed. So what's to, to mean that they are not going to be considered terrorists by those very governments? It's an ill-thought-out concept. And we've got a huge challenge ahead of us, because it's not just our friends and family that we need to... to convince about this. We have to be able to leverage our friends and family in order to lobby our political representatives as well. Because our political representatives at the moment are being lobbied by firms, they're being lobbied by their own um, counter-terrorism services and their law enforcement services. And if we don't do something now, it's going to be very hard to get those human rights back, to be able to post content online and to be able to, to moderate ourselves rather than relying on what someone's pre-coded in with existing biases. If you want to know more about this legislation, I'd suggest checking out the European Digital Rights Organisation, EDRI, and also organisations like Access Now. These organisations are vital in the fight to help inform people about the dangers to their democracy. Because having automated censorship is a danger to democratic discourse.